free for egg activity is a co-curricular activity of general studies. And in this activity, we invite the students to participate. They will need to uh, produce a device that can um, protect the egg from falling down from the second floor. So the students will need to find information from internet, from books, or maybe even ask their parents in how to um, design the product. Um, so some students might use the parachute. Some students may use some shock absorbing materials that can protect the egg from falling down and they can bounce off it to protect it. Um, well, this program, I think it's pretty well known around the world. A lot of people try to use this program too. Uh, but of course, we modify a little bit because this program, normally it's for secondary school students, but because we are doing it for our primary four students. And also, it's actually the process they are learning as well because when they prepare for it, they will need to make sure how to make the experiment work. Sometimes experiments will fail, but they need to make a way, they need to find a way how to make sure the experiment will work in front of the students. So next time, they want to do much better and try to perform in front of other students. Being a successful student, effective student in the senior secondary, they should have already mastered the skill to do independent learning during the junior secondary. For other secondary school, they have three, three, I mean three years plus three years, but we have 12 years. So for the middle part, we focus a lot on project-based learning. Okay, uh, but those skills are important for those senior secondary students to be successful. To, to learn on their own. Now today we have about five students I'm oh, sorry, six students doing an experiment. So we have, we have lots of things to do. Now I want you to pay attention because these experiments are really, really good. So let's invite the first person, first student to come up. Let's give a big hand to P6E Dennis Yeo. Right, Dennis, come here first. Hello, I'm P Dennis Yeo from P6E. Today I will present a dancing races experiment. You will first need a fizzy drink. Uh, some reasons and a cup. First, you need to put the fizzy drink into the cup. To about half. And you put the raisins into the, uh, the cup. You see the raisins. Uh, you see the raisins start, uh, you see some bubbles rising up. Those are carbon dioxide. Um, the carbon dioxide is um, produced from the fizzy drink when it's produced 
and air has lower density than water, so it floats up. And the air sticks on the rough surface of the raisin, and <coughs> later it will flow and it will rise up because um, the there's enough air stick uh, already stick on the raisins and the raisins will uh, and when the raisins get enough air to defy the sinking force of itself, it will raise up, uh, rise up. Uh, now you see the raisins uh, moving. Yep. But uh, sometimes it doesn't have enough air to rise up. Uh, and it will flow to the surface of the water and, and the bubbles will pop and Mm. And it will. Yeah, it floats, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 when, oh. Yeah, it floats. And then why, why, why it floats again? Uh, because it, um, because the bu bubbles pop in the air and there's not enough force to lift it up. Yeah, you see that bouncing. But what about I put some salt in? It? Oh. It starts to bubble very fast, and you see uh, the raisins some uh, also rise. And why? Why? Uh, why bubble so fast? Because it the salt uh, reduces the solubility of the CO2, that means the carbon dioxide. And uh, the carbon dioxide in the fizzy drink came out. And you see the raisins don't bounce again because there's not enough air to uh, make it rise up. The teaching in Korea is traditional, but the, but the good side is they emphasize a lot of knowledge construction, knowledge learning. Don't worry too much. Actually, it's, it's a good side. But we have to change a little bit. We change a little bit from, from that platform. We have to add something more, some, some, some learning tasks. The important is add some learning tasks that demand them to think, to, to, to build knowledge on their own, and to construct knowledge, uh, to, to integrate knowledge on, on their own. Don't worry too much, we need both. Mm -hmm.